Welcome to the first episode. On the table today, we're going to do a couple reviews. We're going to go over my first purchase of a FPV quadcopter, which is the Versacopter from Flight Test. I bought this probably a week after it was, uh, after it came out, so, uh, I knew it was gonna have its flaws, but I'm working with it now. I've went through two repair kits and a buttload of propellers already, so, first problem that I can tell you about here. We'll start with the bad, and then we'll go to the good. These clips in the front, they love to break. That's all I can say. That's what they seem that's what they're meant to do really so you don't break motors um the booms other things but the best fix that i've come up with yet is to put screws behind the booms to keep from shattering all these little plastic pieces As you can tell i actually had to use some of the extra pieces these littler ones in there now i don't you can see they don't fit like the bigger ones do but they're actually the pieces that are supposed to hold on the motor mounts. You can see it there. They, they seem to be doing the job okay. I just wedged them down with those bolts and uh, tightened it all down. But other than that flaw there, I can't really say anything bad about it. Um, I guess we'll move on to the next review item. I went ahead when I bought the Versacopter. I purchased the... Uh, uh, Fat Shark Teleporter 3 starter system. I got my uh, Fat Shark goggles there. My little girl thought it would be cute to put the sharks on them and some googly eyes, whatever. But um, you can see I went ahead and I just purchased the um, uh, Spyro Nets from Fat Shark, which I think I'm going to like a whole lot better than these little rubber duckies that I got with it. So as you can see, I actually broke this one had to super glue it back together but yeah that system though it is rubbish um the receiver's fine nothing wrong with it haven't had any troubles the goggles the resolution in inside of them is 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 horrible i've never had another pair but i can already tell you i'm not happy with it i really wish i wouldn't have spent 200 bucks on a video transmitter pretty much because the camera the latency I I'll show you here later the difference between what I just got in the mail the run cam there I I've already hooked them up and um, I'll show you that test here at the end of the video and you can see the difference in latency between that guy and this guy even without this recording I'm gonna try and hook up since the um, the fat shark, oh, I guess I, I'm using this um, little ballast um, connector which powers the transmitter and then the camera. I'm going to go ahead and just use all the connections. All I had to do is unplug that camera and plug this one in to get it to work. So that's great. But I'm going to take the uh, wire that came with the uh, the run cam and I'm just going to hook up the, the power and ground and leave the, the video signal off of it. So I can still use this to record. It's not a bad recording camera. It skips frames, but for, you know, I don't own a Mobius or a, um, a GoPro, so. So, like I said, a little bit of a latency test. If you can watch the uh, video behind, man, that just wasn't. I've been hitting poles, trees, whatever else. And so let's go ahead and see what this what the run cam looks like versus that. Oh yeah. A lot better picture. See, and on on the TV now, the fat shark camera was cutting off about that much. I don't know what was causing that but it wasn't admirable in the fat shark's favor but all right a little bit of a lag test now on that
worlds better, and I doubt that thing's gonna skip frames on me. But um, yeah, first impression. I am, I am super impressed with that. I am happy with my thirty thirty five dollar purchase of the Sky Plus Run Cam. Um, I hope this. Uh, I hope this new version of a review actually helps some people. It's, uh, I don't have a whole lot of stuff yet, but I'm hoping to get more and I will start making some review videos. Thanks for watching.